Hey guys, you see this unit right here? Are you going to be wondering why? Unless you watch the whole video, will you know? Thermal imaging and a few other basics, and you're going to find out what is exactly inside. What's it look like? What's it all about? Why is that like that? That's a Dan Foss copy. It could be a real one. But it is made by Huawei, which is the licensed guys for it. So, let's get into this video, and then we're going to come back to this at the end of the video. But stay tuned. I'll put the links to all of this. Everything whoo, below the video. So, let's get over here. We've got some comparison work to do. Is that right, Emma? Huh? <laughs> She's not entertained. Um, we're out here, and we're going to review this set power and it's it's 65 i believe liters um and 69 quarts so we're going to be looking this thing over and seeing what it's all about now it's a little pricey in my view but you do kind of you do got to pay for the bulk factor of it um this thing holds a lot now for you people who are on live off grid or you guys know that we've got a pending really bad world situation here. I mean, they're literally talking about months worth of wheat supplies in the world left. I mean, this is not good. Um, and I showed a previous video on how people can do this. And for you guys that were commenting um, about how to come up with one of these uh, little transformers, uh, shop goodwill.com. That's the best thing I can tell you. And, and, and be a junkie for them guys because they really have a lot of stuff like this. But be sure you look at the pictures so you can read the data. That's They always take good pictures. Uh, go to shopgoodwill.com. Impressive. Uh, you'll find stuff like that. Just keep checking back. Now, this unit right here is running off of that setup I did in the previous video. So I want you to go look up here. I'll put it in here um, and go watch it or I'll put it at the end of the video there and you can go watch it. It's showing how to use a solar charge controller, a wall wart supply, that has a stable regulated supply now this one's a coleman they do make a power pro they do make a road pro they do make um votech or volt boat tech or something like that there's lots of them but careful with buying the chinese versions that look like the just a little computer one because they're they're not they don't tell the truth they're not accurate in their output so you want to make sure you got one's 14 volts or better now getting over here to the set power um, I'm using this system because it's more efficient than the, than the uh, unit they sent with me. And what it is, is it's a TC65. They do make a 75, which has a much higher capacity. Um, it's about, I don't know, 82 quarts. Pretty significant when you think about it. It's about three or so cubic foot or three and a half cubic foot freezer that runs on DC power. So even if you, uh, even if you have a power outage, you can always plug this in somewhere like a car or a solar panel or at, go sit it in your RV if you have something. But you can DC power is a lot easier to uh, acquire um, than AC power in bad times. So if you have a RV and a hatch or a basement in your RV, careful with putting these in without installing some type of exterior venting. Now, there's lots of sources for that venting. Be careful how you do it so you don't create a leak or damage. Uh, we're going to open this up. We're going to be taking this apart. And now, right now, what I want to show you here is the comparison of these two in a thermal image. We're going to go ahead and roll over to a thermal image. And what we're going to use here um, is the Seek. And it's pretty decent. It's got some clicking noises in the background. Uh, whatever parts I use up in here, guys, I'm going to put down there at the bottom so you can go check it out and you can see what it is. Uh, I think I can get a promo code on this one to save you like 50 or 60 bucks. It's worth it. And I'll put links to all of them. So look below the video. There'll be links to whatever these are. Um, as far as where to get them, where they, you know, if you if you don't have a like a big post office or a, a big something near you or you're living in an apartment, you can get these kind of things delivered at your local Walmart. And then when you go pick them up, you know, in your little compact or on the bus or whatever you got, for, for a lot of my urban city folks that, well, they, they're, they're afraid to have something like this left at their door by UPS because their neighborhood will steal it. So I would say if you get a chance, pick it up at a Walmart or something. Um, at a Target or whatever. I'll put some links to the best locations and the quickest turnarounds for you with the best price. Uh, this unit over here is 
pretty much average or a little better. So let's look at the thermal image and see what we got here. Okay, now what we have here is we have the set power. There is the very hot spot down below of the compressor. You got it right there, and there's my hand in the picture. And over here we have the stake hole. So that is that's a hell of a name, ain't it? So stay cool, I guess they're going to try to say, you know, got a little changlish there. But let's take an in look at these. Now you see the dark blues, or the blues, are going to be where the cold is getting out, so to speak. And the greens are where they're a lot better insulated. So we'll get over here and you're going to notice that the set power is significantly bluer <laughs> than this model over here. Kind of unique. Um, now, one of the reasons the set cool might be is because it does have, and we're going to open it up, it does have more, more cooling in the uh, structure there, more tubes. So they are, there is a little more in there, okay? And, and you can see here the, I'm going to put my hand on that, it leaves a nice little handprint. That is the thermal imaging of what this looks like. So you'll have an idea whether or not you want to take an insulated or not. They do have a insulation slip for them. So I'm getting I'm getting about probably 20% less cool leakage from the STAKOL than I am from the set power. But there is the compressor in. I know it's not on fire. <laughs> that's just that's just that heat signature that comes from it. And it'll show you that right up in there, there is the, the main compressor condenser there. Same thing pretty much over here, except this one's just a little bit hotter looking, but they're both running about the same. So I'll give you guys a little idea what these look like in their thermal image, okay? So not much different, actually, than a standard refrigerator in their thermal image. Now, me... All right, now... I've got it opened up, and as you will be able to see at the very beginning of the video, it's a familiar looking little beast. So it's pretty good. It's got its startup system up in here, a little fuse box. It's got its power fuse right there, so you know how to get access to it. It has three screws under the belly of it right there, and the rest of them around this rim. Now, my personal view of this plastic ventilation is a minus seven. That's my personal okay um for you it might just be great but i don't like the distance from this fan to there i do not like that that fan to get very good draft should have a shroud and should be out here all right that said i think most of them are designed like this because this is a module all right now if you look in here and take a much closer look you'll see how for refrigerant pressure they have pinched that to get the gauge to read right that's normal so don't don't freak out um all the right size tubing that's in here very good good insulation um good guarding this is your thermal sensor for this to kick on back here and there's practically nothing up in here now here's the funny part um if you guys are good and i mean you're really good you realize you could take probably two of these and turn them into an air conditioner for like 12 volt AC unit for like a like overhead camper for a pickup. Just got to insulate good, but you could. And who knows? Eh, you know, might be willing, but it has the control board for 12 and 24 volt. You see that? And they all seem to use the same brand right there. So that's pretty common there also. Now this compressor, um, it is a fully sealed compressor, and it is a very quiet and good compressor. And if you notice down there, it is fully isolated with fast removal, you see, so you can service it. Uh, generally, you don't get to service these. These have about a 10 to 15 year lifespan. So there is your expansion in there, and this is your condenser right in here. So all your evaporator is inside, but your condenser is out here, and that little fan right there, 
Looks like really good magnets in it. You see the way that went back like that. So construction wise, very good, very good, very impressive, very impressive mold. The way that they've molded this, very nice. I am a little more impressed than I was yesterday. So if you're wondering what these bolts are on here, these bolts actually for the molding process, they support your core that's in here all the way around. So it's a double piece molding. So I put a board up here. So before this lid is compressed back down and the foam is shot in, it holds everything tight against the inner walls of that. Now you look at this. If you think this thing doesn't freeze, if you think this thing doesn't freeze, I want you to listen. That thing freezes, man. And those have been in there a couple of days, but they froze in a few hours. So this thing will go down to zero degrees and you can set it at about 42, which is perfect for refrigerators. So am I going to recommend this? Yes. Am I going to ask this company to give you a good discount if you go buy one? Yeah, because I told them, you send this to me for a discount, I'll review it. If it's any good, I'll tell people to get it. If it's too expensive, you get it? I don't own nobody nothing. So is it too expensive? They got them listed for about six fifty. Should they go for six fifty? Nah. Are they as good as a Whitner? Man, Whitners are nine hundred bucks. So, are they as good as a Whitner? Yeah, pretty much. Same same compressor. But are they as good? I don't know. Are they worth about five seventy five? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think they're worth every bit of that. Are they worth the fact that you're not going to starve to death if you got a couple? at least one man i think so so you guys learn something about dc power learn that you can make it yourself learn that you can take as little as three of these batteries and i do recommend the 31 series battery if you get them the ones with the slots in them because they're made by excite i do recommend that i do re recommend at least two controllers so if you have one fail and 800 to a thousand watts of solar everybody everybody if you're making under fifty thousand dollars a year or like most people i know because i'm a cheapskate uh they make about 35 and fight the system every day so if you're in that in that category you can't afford a fifteen hundred dollar norcold but you can get this so learn how to defeat the Richie Riches out there in the world and get you something too. All right, guys, y'all check it out. I think it's worth it. I think that uh, um, as soon as they upgrade their their uh, power supply stuff, you know, as soon as they upgrade that stuff a little bit, which I guess they're supposed to now, um, or even if they don't, it runs and it runs okay and it runs like it should. But I have a preference of higher voltage. And you should, too, if you can, and build you that if you can. All right, y'all, check them out. Not too damn shabby. I think I'm going to, you know, cut all that out. You know, get a bigger one. Something with some better flow out here. That's what they should do.